Solid Camp 2008 has introduced a new operation called Drill Recognition. Drill Recognition is a single tool operation that recognizes automatically the diameter of holes, the depth of holes, the, even the type of holes, whether it be a, a tapped hole on the part, and it recognizes it on, on the entire part. Let's take a look at how this works. I'll start by going into my operations field and choosing drill recognition. Now when I define my geometry, the program automatically recognizes every single hole that's on the part. And what I want to do in this particular case is simply take a center drill and do a center drill on every single one of these holes, no matter what level it's on. So as far as my filters go, I'll leave out the hole type as through holes or blind holes. I won't limit it by specific hole diameter or by specific level, which is something I can do if I wanted to. I'll just simply say find holes and every single hole that is on this part and on this face will be listed in this particular window over here. Now as you can see, this has been broken down into shapes and each shape has a group of holes. As we can see here, we even have this shape over here which shows it has these two groups, this particular group and that group over there. If I want to see the shape of the hole itself, what it actually is, I can do show hole and you can see what's the shape of that particular group of holes. Same thing over here, you'll see the shape of the holes itself. Now if I close that area, I can also say, okay, you know what, if I go into this group, if I do not want to do a particular gr uh, group of holes, I just simply take away the V mark from that particular group. Same thing over here, I can take away this group, I do not want to do that group over there. All I have to do now is simply say OK. Now, in my tool area, I'll choose a spot drill. In my levels, you'll note there is no depth, but there is something called depth edit. If I were to go into my depth edit field, you'll note I can see the four groups that I'm working on. And the information I'm given here is my upper level of each group, the depth of the holes of each group that will be drilled. And if I added a delta depth, I would see the delta depth. And cutting type, the depth type, I would uh, see that over here also. Now, if I want to have it that uh, to make some changes, for instance, I want to change the drill depth, this is simply done over here. And since I said I'll be doing a center drill for each one of the holes, I simply want to go down a total of 2 millimeters on all the holes on the entire group. So I'll mark down 2 millimeters and I'll say do it for all and apply. Now you'll note that all of a sudden the depth of every one of these groups is 2 millimeters. I'll simply accept that. In my technology field, just as before, just as any drilling operation, I'll leave it at drilling and I'll simply do save and calculate. Now if we take a look at our simulation, you'll see that the simulation will be done on every single one of the holes has had a center drill gone over that hole. And as you can see, each hole was drilled to the exact depth, no matter what height the hole is at. The next operation I'd like to do is I have in this particular part two tapped holes. I have here a tapped hole that is uh, of uh, M5 and have another t set of tapped holes that are of M8. I'll start again my drill recognition operation and this time when I choose my geometry I'll go into my hole diameter area and the first time I'd like to do, I'd like to do only these holes here which are the M5 holes. So I'll limit it by the diameter by simply doing from this amp diameter over here and I picked it directly from the part itself. Okay, since I want to leave it at that diameter, both of these fields will be 4.2. 
Now when I do find holes, you'll know it picked all the holes that are M5. The tool that I will be using will obviously be a 4.2 drill. Now in my levels I do not have to do anything, I do not have to do depth edit. The depth is automatically recognized from the part itself. I'll simply do save and calculate and run my simulation and as you can see I'll do this one step at a time it goes from each hole down to the depth that it needs to go to. I'll run it along and it has done every single one of the M5 holes that have to be drilled out. In my next operation I like to do the same thing but this time for the drill for the holes that are going to be M8. I'll do the exact same thing, I'll go into my geometry and this time when I choose my hole diameter I'll click on this hole over here accept that after of course I find the holes and again I'll choose the proper tool in this particular case the tool that I need will be a 6.8 millimeter drill and again I have my levels my technology and I'll use a drill cycle type of PEC and I'll go down every single s six millimeters simply do save and calculate and again as you can see in my simulation only those holes were drilled Now, the next thing I'd like to demonstrate is I'd like to put a chamfer on both the M5 holes and the holes that are of uh, M8. Again, I'll simply go into my drill recognition and I'll go into define and I'll say I only want, first of all, I'd like to have only holes that are blind. But then again, I can also go into my hole diameter and choose my hole diameter from and this time in my from area I'll choose this whole area, this hole which is a 4.2 and in this area I'll put in up until 6.8 now when I do find holes it has given me these group of holes that have to be drilled out simply accept those particular holes that I've done and in my tools this time I'll use a chamfer drill. Now when I go into my levels area this time I'll go into my depth edit and I want to change the depth of each of the of the holes of each of the groups that I've done. Now if we take a look at our first group you'll see that our depth wants to go down 26.29 uh, millimeters but that's not what I want to do here I simply want to do a chamfer. So for this particular group the first thing I'll do is change my drill depth to zero and I'll apply it and at the same time I want to have my drill depth, drill depth type at the amateur value and I'll pick a the amateur value since I'll be doing now uh, these particular holes here which are M8 I want to do uh, 8.4 the amateur value on those particular holes and I'll say apply now I'll do the same thing on the second group. Again, my drill depth will be zero. I'll apply that. And my diameter value for that group, since this is an M5, I want to have this value at 5.4. And I'll apply that information to those holes also and accept this. My technology I'll leave at drill and now I'll do save and calculate. Let's take a look now at our simulation. And if I zoom into those holes over here, you'll note that as I'm drilling down, the chamfer that I received was exactly for what I needed for that particular type of hole. All this was done within one operation in one tool.